Thank you. Not you, not you, your fake boobs. Not you. I like you, though, sugar boobies. I'll do you later. Thank you, Russ Conlon. Now, where was I? Sorry. I solemnly swear while I'm watching Crooked CNN or the biased media usually. Sorry. I solemnly swear to uphold the sacrilegious rights of our country's constipation, like the right to bear arms and to arm bears, and also to wrestle bears, like my good friend Vladimir Putin. He writes my emails okay, and he's really hot. Unlike Angela Merkel, have you seen her? Seriously, her legs have been together longer than the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Brexit will be a beautiful thing. A lot of nasty people, nasty people. They say Ireland will be reduced to a third world country by the time it's done. I don't agree. I think that's been way overly optimistic. <laughs> Russia is just incredible. They've made unbelievable progress, unbelievable. Women can now travel inside buses and the legal age of marriage has been risen from eight to eight and a half. Take that, Listoon Varna. <laughs> I love Ireland, by the way, with its hot sheep and Michael Flatley dancing all over your dignity. I want to thank Michael for taking the time out of his empty schedule to perform for me, even though he used up all my fake tan backstage. <laughs> he was just so happy to be there. If you thought the, what the Russians had on me was bad, you could see what they got on Flatley must be much worse. Believe me, believe me. I want to thank the many famous musicians and celebrities who performed for me uh, last night. You see, I'm already creating jobs. Most of those has and nobody's ever worked in years. <laughs> if Ireland was a hot lady, it would grab, I would grab it by the collars, and she would love it. She would let me do anything to her, steal her jobs, destroy her tax base. She'd even let me squeeze her Galways, because Galway is from the old Irish word for sugar boobies. <laughs> now, where was I? You asked yourself, Melania as first lady? Hell yeah, second lady, why not? Third lady, keep them coming. I've got eight years and a heck of a lot of stamina, believe me. The Russians even have the tape to prove it. White America will be great again, but immigrants will always be welcome so long as they are smoking hot, just like Melania, trust me. It's over for the Obamas who now go back to Kenya and for the Clintons, the Clintons as well, because Hillary now goes back to being the only woman in America that Bill won't sleep with. But I will ask her for advice from time to time when I visit her in Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Finally, to quote JFK, John Fried, Kentucky, we're gonna bring peace between the Israelites and the stalactites, and I will uphold my office with my enormous hands until Mike Pence inevitably takes over, probably next Tuesday. He might be the vice president right now, but I am president vice in the name of God, who is a loser, by the way, and looks suspiciously Latino. I am honored to be the 45th and last president, and may God help the United States of obesity. Bigly. Thank you.